And we'll talk more about how much more health care can be improved in rural areas in Africa with the help of available technology in a minute. But first, let's bring you some more examples. And you may remember this story we brought you a few weeks ago. Health workers in Malawi experimenting with drones to get blood tests to hospitals more quickly to speed up HIV diagnosis. It cuts the waiting time for results from months to weeks. Ghanaian entrepreneur Bright Simons is using mobile technology to fight fake medicines. His system, which is spread across West and East Africa, involves a scratch card number on the pack of medicine packets. People can then text the code to see if their medicine is real or fake. And South African eye doctor William Mappam has developed an app to help diagnose and treat cataracts. The Vula app, which runs on smartphones, can photograph the eye and test vision. A specialist can then diagnose the problem and offer treatment. So I think it is fair to say this kind of technology is really becoming more and more popular. Now, Dimaji is a company that provides mobile health solutions. Let's speak to its deputy director for West African Operations, Mohini Bafsa. Thanks a lot for joining us. How does your company use technology to help uh, solve health problems? Thanks a lot for having me on the show. Um, Dimagi develops uh, low-cost mobile technology solutions for community health workers um, based on a platform called ComCare. And our mobile apps and SMS tools um, aim to enable health workers do their jobs better. Um, and so in the majority of our projects, health workers are using mobile apps to register, monitor, provide counseling to women and, and newborns and Uh, we seem to have lost um, Mohini Bafsa there. We'll try and go back to her. But